in this video, in this video, I'm just going to discuss, you know, college, you know, again, this is another one of my college videos, I'm trying to get this further away, you don't want to see my face too close up, I know, I'm, <laughs> but anyway, you know, this one is about what you can expect in your classes, you know, I might give you a few pointers on taking notes, or at least I'll try to, anyway, so. and then I'll discuss a few other items, but first off, your classes. What can you expect, especially if you're going to a university? This is more if you are going to a university than anything else. And, you know, any college, this is what happened. This what I'm about to tell you right now can happen to any college, you know, or whatever. And this is something that only is going to be a man thing. No woman will ever do this, ever, ever, ever. Only a man will do this nonsense. You either have a class that's a theater type of class or just a regular class of 30 seats or whatever. You get there first, or maybe there are a few others. But anyways, you get a seat, and it's far from anybody, or you have it all by yourself. Okay, this is what's going to happen. I can guarantee it's going to happen to you, not once, a lot of times. A guy's going to come lumbering in and sit his butt right next to you. Now, you may say, well, that's not too bad. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, this guy won't have taken a shower for over a week, okay? And he'll sit right next to you. Two, three hundred other seats, you know, sit next to you. No woman will ever do that. Okay? I've had women, yeah, sit next to me, and one of them fell asleep and almost put her head on my shoulder and she woke up quick. <laughs> and we ended up talking at the class, you know, but me being an idiot and being too shy, you know, I didn't take it further, could have went out where probably, you know. I had a few opportunities, but I blew it, being too shy and stupid. But anyways, like I'm get back to it, you know. They'll be sitting right next to you, not a shower. No woman will ever do that. A woman who's not taking a shower, she knows she smells, isn't going to sit next to anybody else. Or she's going to sit far from people, usually. And women generally aren't going to just sit directly next to you. Not unless they have to. It's not because they're stuck up or any of that nonsense. It's just, you know, it's just men and women are different. I don't know why men are willing to sit directly shorter to shorter to another guy. I just don't get that. Especially when they haven't showered in days and please please if you're gonna go to class shower trust me your neighbor you may not think you smell but everybody else can smell you okay also another thing you can expect especially in the summer especially in the south it's 105 degrees outside especially in tampa you know where i went to college you know usf 105 degrees now this is more of a female thing they'll come into the class if it has a thermometer in the classroom They'll turn it off. Oh, yeah. In five minutes, that room will go from a comfortable 70 or 65, 70 to 100 degrees. And you got to spend the whole glass period sweltering hot because she wanted to be comfortable. She won't think about turning the temperature up a little bit. Uh-uh. Can't do that. got to turn it off. And I see it everywhere. Men and women do it everywhere. I'm talking about, you know, in general. But in the classroom, it's going to be the female that turns off the class. But I see them doing it all the time. They turn it off. You do not turn it off. You just simply turn it up or down depending on your comfort. That's not difficult. Now, for notes. Now, there are other websites I suggest you watch for taking notes. Please make sure you watch videos on how to take notes. Get books or whatever you have to do. Look at websites. Find out how to take notes. You think you know? Trust me. You don't know how to take notes, especially not in college. You may think you do, but you're going to get a rude awakening when you get to college and you can't take proper notes and you fail the class or you don't do very well. Trust me. You should be at least studying for every hour that your classmate, like if it's a four-credit class or quarter, well, I don't know how they do it north, but in the south it's four credits, three credits. If it's a three-credit class, that means you need to be studying at least... Well, I don't know, they say three hour, hour, 30 minutes per credit, but I used to do an hour. I used to, every time I, what I did is as soon as I was done with my classes, I spent about 30 minutes to an hour on those notes. And then I reviewed my other, always review your notes, because remember, you have midterms and finals. So you make sure you're prepared for that stuff. Okay? And as I, I will always tell you, be very careful in those classrooms. And, most of the, your professors will go quick. Some of them can be kind of stuck up. Some of them may not be. Some of them are willing to help you after class. They really don't. 
the large classes, they really don't want you asking questions too much. And if you think about it, it makes sense. They get a certain amount of material, so you want to wait to after class. And also, if you can be, record it, edit, you know, cell phone or whatever, do it, if they allow it. Which they should. I don't see why they won't, but some of them might not. But make sure you get the information first. If you're going to videotape them, you probably want to get the permission first because, you know, that's the easiest way to take notes, right? And another thing, and this is just a quick off-topic thing, and it goes with some other videos, and some people might not like what I'm about to say. And if you're not, that's fine, you know, you can stop the video here because this is about dating a little bit. Be very careful if you're a guy. Please be very, 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 very careful. And if you haven't been paying attention to what's going on in these schools now, I'm just going to tell you this. If you don't want to fight, avoid the white. Okay, that means white girls be a little bit more careful of, okay? Because I've noticed that black girls, Asian girls, especially black girls, are not as likely to screw you over and get you in a huge amount of trouble that where you could end up going to prison, having your entire reputation and life ruined, you know? So <laughs> be careful, okay? And... Make sure you document everything, have permission. It was up to me. I mean, I don't know if you can or not. If you're going to have sex with them, make sure they see the camera. Tell them, hey, you're going to videotape it. You want their permission. They look on the camera and give their permission. And then you tell them straight out, when if you're tired of it, you want me to stop. You tell me to stop. And you video your camera to let, you know, say whether or not you agree, you know. And then, you know, you say, you know, I promise not to distribute this video. If I do, then, you know, responsible for the consequences. I mean, I don't know if that will work or not, but, you know, that might. I can't promise you nothing on that. But be very, very, very careful. If you, uh, there's a fire websites, I think. I know there's another one called collegefix collegefix.com. They will give you some information on what's going on in these colleges, you know. You know, they're more conservative, but still. Please like, subscribe. If you like my video, please leave a comment. You know, any suggestions? Feel free to check out the About Me section or watch my other videos. Thanks.